Good morning. Okay, guys. Um, I'm gonna wait for more people to get on here. Um, but 75% of you asked for a makeup tutorial, and I know that there's been a lot of subpar um, live content, and I apologize if that falls into this category for you. Um, but 75% of you said you wanted to see a makeup tutorial, and I woke up this morning, and um, I have a Zoom interview um, that was supposed to take place. Um, so I kind of want to look like halfway decent. Um, so let's get started. I put on some cash doll to kick this off. Um, I'm a mess. Um, I've only had a coffee. I know it's really late, but Sibo and I watched um, Survivor last night. Um, season 13. I've never watched Survivor before. And I'm totally obsessed. Um, we watched... I mean, I don't want to spoil this for anyone, but someone should 100%. If you haven't seen season 13, you should watch it. Um, and I'll just say this. Good morning to Yule and Yule only. I love him. Um, spent a lot of time thinking about him. Sibo and I literally cheered when he won. Sorry if that was a spoiler for anyone. Okay, what's the vibe um, for music? I, haven't, I don't really listen to music on my um, iPad very much. Okay, so um, I washed my face for you guys. Um, we're gonna start with um, a little bit of concealer because your girl was up watching Survivor. Um, and also Debs. Has anyone seen Debs? So this is a Pat McGrath concealer. And again, let me say that I'm really sorry for anyone that this um, is not fun for, specifically probably my male followers, but like, you know, why not? So it starts with this. When I did a, um, my timer for time spent on Instagram just went off, that's really funny. Um, when I did a tutorial for Vogue, everyone was like, how? Could you use your hands to ble uh, blend, blah, 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 whatever. Well, I use my hands. They're clean. Um, I wash them thoroughly. Obviously, right now in this world pandemic seems appropriate. So I just kind of use my fingers. And the reason I like my fingers, and a lot of professional makeup artists do this too. Like, I'm not crazy, I swear to God. Um, the texture of the pads of your fingers mimics the texture of your skin so i'm essentially using my concealer as a foundation um and i will like layer it a little bit so now i'm looking like a little bit more even but I will layer that, so, um, just so everyone knows. Broad, kind of popping this broad and a Murata. I have to wear some of Murata, guys, come on. Um, I do not sleep in a bra, but I put it on this morning and it's like, it's better than just boobies. Um, okay, so that was the Pat McGrath Concealer. Um, this one's LM9, um, and... You know, my skin in the summer gets a little bit darker, even though I really try very, very hard not to go in the sun, it just happens. So I'll probably, once I start going outside again, um, transition back to a darker color. Okay, so the next thing I do is just try to warm my face up because I do have a really, um, like, kind of, I don't have a lot of natural um, redness in my face, which I actually think is really pretty um, when like girls have like rosy cheeks and stuff. So the first thing I do is I use this amazing Charlotte Tilbury, um, it's the Filmstar Bronze and Glow um, Big Fan. Charlotte is amazing. All these makeup artists, like these smaller, or now they're not very small, but um, so then I just take that her brush as well and kind of go like, so curious if I lose followers or gain them after this. Like, will you guys hate me? Okay, so it's kind of a blend moment. I actually really want to do one of these with Hung and Go, the makeup artist that does um, me for like Bambi Fair and the Met Ball. So I'm just basically going around right there. Right there. Ooh, I just put a lot on. 
Mann, weil ich habe keine Ahnung, was ich habe. So, just really warming up all of these areas. Um, for those of you who have just tuned in, I'm doing a makeup tutorial, which is very not me, but um, I was getting ready for this Zoom meeting and I just decided, like, why not? Because I really miss social interaction. And, you know, you guys are here, so. So then I just go like this. This brush is really nice. Okay. We woke up at um, 10 o'clock and I had a call at 10 30. And have um, a Zoom meeting in like a 35 minutes, so I need to try to make myself look visible. Okay, so we've gone with the concealer from Pat, the Filmstar Bronze and Glow. I just did the bronze so far. Um, I know all of you are probably very mad um, that I'm using my fingers. That was like the main comment on the um, Vogue tutorial I did was like, how could you use your fingers but my hands are clean. My hair is a little bit of a mess though, huh? Um, okay, so let's see, what else? Does anyone have any music they wanna listen to? Um, let's see what I have. This is not the vibe this morning. Should we go kind of like old school or do we want something kind of turn? I tried with Cash Doll, but I felt like that was a little much for, I know it's, literally 11.40, but like I said, Sibo and I have not been living by any rules. We've been just partying, basically, like eating dinner at 10 and um, watching Survivor season 13, which again, highly recommend. There's so many episodes of Survivor, you could just basically watch it forever, which is amazing. Um, let's see, let's go to my library. Oh, I have like a morning, should we do that? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so um, I've got my concealer on. I've got a little bit of um, bronze or like contour essentially um, around the forehead, nose, there. Should probably do a little bit more on the jaw. This is something whenever I do my own makeup on is like, how the hell do you get in there to see? Um, but I do, I managed mean, to do it at home. Um, okay. So I'm actually out of this, but the next thing I normally do um, is use the Anastasia um, eyebrow pencil. So it's like really a nub now, I can't even get it off more. But I go like the, I'm gonna use you guys as my mirror. There's a little bit still coming out. This eyebrow never wants to stay up, so that's annoying. So this is kind of out, so it's, we're sort of defeating the purpose, but I will be getting more of this. Um, and I just brush it up and see sort of what the situation is. We was down at Tribeca, she get under your skin if you let her. She get under your skin and I don't even want to talk about it. I don't even want to talk about it. I don't even want to say nothing. Everybody gon' say something. I'll be worried if they say nothing. Should, um, probably shot it this morning. You know what? I'm not worried about it right now. Um, okay. Also very controversial, but a trick that I've done since, I don't know, I was 18. I use lipstick as blush. Um, I like the texture of it a lot more than a powder. I think um, the color is really nice when it matches your lip, like when I'm done with the look. Um, what is going on back there? I'm telling you guys, I'm still asleep. Um, so, it's pretty simple. You just go over the nose, so that's like for um, when the, how the sun hits naturally. If like I was getting a little bit of a tan or a sunburn, it would hit right across there. So I do that. This is my morning like playlist. It's all songs about morning and whatever. And some of them are Jeremiah and some of them are, um, um, what else is on here? Oh, like, let's see. The Rascals, we've got Talking Heads. We have um, Kanye, we have 
Mariah Carey. We got we kind of jump all over the place in this playlist. Okay, so I'm just blending again. My hands are clean, I swear to God. Um, if you get sick of singing the happy birthday song when you're washing your hands, someone told me you can sing the first um, verse or chorus of Staying Alive, which I think is kind of funny. Um, so I've been doing that last night. I did it when I got home from walking a while um, Okay, so yeah, you can kind of see like I'm looking a little more alive. But again, this is a very subtle, obviously I'm not going anywhere too crazy right now. Okay, so eyes are next. Um, so I use the um, Charlotte Tilbury palette first. And I go into the, should I show you guys this palette? Because it just shows how much I love it. Such a mess. Um, so just use this little brush. Again, this is a Charlotte Tilbury brush. And go in like that. Like you can see the difference. Again, like this is a really subtle, this is like quarantine and chill makeup. But I mean, this is like probably my day to day, unless I'm feeling really sassy. And, you know, like, I could do an eyeliner or something if you guys want to see it. You tell me. Okay. So much. I wonder if I'll get in trouble for saying this because Sibo likes to keep things private, but he sent me this song very early in our relationship and it's very romantic and it makes me feel very, I don't know, good feelings. Okay, so now I take this smaller brush and I dip into the same bronze and um, this is something again Hung taught me, which is like go around the bottom of your eye and all the way into the middle. I know that people like to put highlighter there and you can do that too if you want. But I just think that this makes your whole shape of your eye look a little bit bigger. How are we feeling about this, guys? Okay. So like that. How's everyone been doing with their like skincare routines? I feel like there's two kinds of people during quarantine. There's people who are basically only in face masks and like obsessively doing skin treatments, and then I feel like there are people who are. Um, not washing their face and I've kind of os oscillated between the two. The first week I was like full spa, like every second doing a mask, whatever. Um, and then this week I've been like kind of falling asleep without not taking off all my makeup and stuff, which I don't know, but sometimes it's nice to give your skin a break from, um, from uh, like stripping the oils off of it. Just my theory. Here we go, I have some oldies. Okay. Have some espresso. Oh, this brush? Um, it's Charlotte Tilbury. I don't know the shape of it, but it's like, let me see. Yeah. So I'm going back and I'm doing a little bit more here. live with the fat shoe, but he's like, he's very much on the um, page of like, what's all this mediocre content, like I don't want to be a part of it, and I feel that, but not not just from, not from me, but like from people in general who are like, oh my god, I need to go live like right now, and then they just talk about nothing, and I'm not saying that I am, that um, this is the most amazing thing, but it's, at least you guys asked for it, 75% of you did, okay, Okay, sorry, 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 got distracted. This is a Pat McGrath, um, uh, amazing palette. Um, this one is Mothership. Um, I'm trying to shine through this one, but you can see it's a really beautiful palette. So I generally just use this one or this one. This one we're going to use 
like that, and it just kind of gives you a little bit more than the bronze already put on. So, maybe it's just getting kind of smoky. Obviously, I haven't done mascara or anything like that, so don't hate. You can feel people hating through my camera. Pretty good, right? I pull my eye out like that. Using, so even if you don't have a cat eye or minor, um, that's the best way to do it. Just brushing my hair because my hair is driving me nuts. Probably use some dry shampoo. Um, I got a lot of hair questions too when I did my Q&A, so I maybe should do that next. Okay, so this is what we're dealing with. How is everyone feeling? Okay, so once I've used the Anastasia um, brow pencil, I use the Anastasia um, brow gel. And it's all about making um, a little fuzzy there, and then like this part always wants to go crazy on me. Yeah, there it is. I recently kind of tweezed my eyebrows um, and gave them more shape. I can't decide if I like it or not. I feel like fuzzy eyebrows are amazing, but like this is thinner than it's ever been. So. How did I get here? Okay. So now we have basically like cheek, bronzer, a little concealer, eyeshadow, you can see. Oh God, needs to be um, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in with the concealer. Again, this is the Pat McGrath concealer. Just give me a little bit extra love. Um, my friend Sarah Huber and her husband Tom Sox had a um, amazing gala for the art collection fund that they were honored at and um, I got to introduce her which was really cool and give a little speech on why she's the best um, which she is and um, who was sitting at my table David Byrne um, which my 17 year old self would have died and gone to heaven um, I actually almost got a talking head tattoo in high school which I'm glad I did not but um, that's how much I loved him my parents basically sat me down and made me watch um, uh, Stop Making Sense when I was like 12 and like, this is the most important thing I'll ever watch. Um, and so I got to tell him that like when I graduated high school, I had um, lyrics from This Must Be The Place like spoken out as I walked down to get my diploma. And he was like, cool. Um, but I also went and saw American Utopia, which I highly recommend. Um, I think it's supposed to tour, or it did tour, and I think it's coming back or something. But um, David Grimm's a hero of mine, so it was very cool to just sit next to him. Okay, legendary lashes, Charlotte Tilbury. Just do a nice dip. Is amazing, honestly, because of the difference. Or maybe you can't see it anymore, but I can see it here. Yeah. I don't really put uh, mascara on my lower because they're kind of long and I feel like it always ends up looking a little crazy. That's so relaxing to me. Really kind of like my time to meditate and just think and concentrate and see what calls it my finger pain. Um, again, universal apparently, but um, I just don't, I don't know, blenders seem gross to me. Even if you clean them a lot. My hands, I can wash them and then over it. I'm putting a lot of this on, so you can see. Okay, she's starting to look pretty good. Um, okay, so now is the highlighter moment, which is um, 
a whole fucking thing for me. I, I love highlighter. Um, oh, my music's too loud, someone said. It's really sad. How's that now? Okay, guys, I'm so sorry. Did I blow it? Okay, well, let me walk you through what I did in case you're just tuning in or you couldn't hear anything I was saying. Um, Pat McGrath Concealer, amazing. This one is LM9. Um, Charlotte Tilbury Blonde Bronze and Glow Palette. This is a highlighter and bronzer. We use that with a brush to kind of like go around my face and into my cheeks. Then we used um, a combo. We did the Pat McGrath Palette using that guy and the and the um, bronzer from the Charlotte Tilbury palette and went around the eyes all the way around the bottom and at the top. We did um, some Anastasia on the eyebrows, a pencil, and then a um, brow brush. And then we used this guy, Charlotte Tilbury's Legendary Lashes Black Vinyl Mascara. Okay. Oh, and then the other thing we did was a little bit of lipstick on the cheeks. Um, this is a YSL lipstick. Um, rouge, let's see, couture. So this I just use on my, my face. Okay, so let's do that again now. So again, like I said, it's all about layering. This is something Hung taught me, um, which is like, don't just apply things, you know, um, once, like it takes time. So this is where I look like a clown. I have friends who love to make fun of me because I'll like be talking to them when I'm getting ready and then look over and they're like, what is on your face? <laughs> okay, so blending that. What I was saying was that I got to sit next to David Byrne at a party um, and tell him that I was a huge fan and that was really exciting for me and that people should go see American Utopia. Um, when we are back in the real world, um, normal life. Okay, so, um, this is kind of like, we're getting pretty close. So, one of the main questions I got on Q&A when people were asking me about makeup, um, was freckles. So, I have freckles. You can see, like, well, there's a couple there. I mean, they're covered with concealer right now. So what I like to do is use this incredible thing. My stylist bought this for me um, because she knows that I'm a freckle girl and it's called Freck. And it basically goes like this. Yep, will you be doing freckles too? Yes, I'm doing freckles. Um, so it's just like a little tip like that. And I'm gonna try to do it so that you guys can really see. So that's a freckle, that's a freckle. And then I go like, Yep, the small I like to fill in. When I was a little girl, um, my cousin was like kind of a lot older than me. He's like 16, 17. And so um, Cindy was his like dream girl of his generation, Cindy Crawford. And um, that mole used to be a little bit more prominent when I was younger and all of his friends would call me baby Cindy, um, which was cute. And I wasn't even, I was like seven or something. Okay because of the mole, it sounded kind of creepy, I just realized. Okay, those are two freckles. That's the other thing is like, I like the consistency of having the same freckles. So this is Freck again. Um, I don't think this is a, yeah, it's just long wear freckle makeup and it really does, it kind of looks better over time too. Okay, so someone said save your life, but I don't know, I feel like bad that you guys couldn't hear me. Oh, the other thing is if you have a zit. <laughs> incredible like any kind of blemish you can just cover up um with freck okay so now let's see there's another one right there okay so you can kind of see starting to look like the signature okay i'm coming really close So that's just, and then you kind of blend. Everyone has different styles of doing freckles. I'm sure there's a makeup artist who's watching this and being like, this is not right. <laughs> um, but. Okay, 
so that's the freckles on the nose. I like to just put them on the bridge. Again, it's all about where you get sun, and I do have really faded freckles on my nose, but um, because, again, I try not to get in the sun too much, but nobody's perfect, okay, or maybe some people are, but not me, and um, they are, like, on there, and honestly, I think they're pretty cute, so instead of actual sun damage, I just paint them on. So there's actually a little, um, you guys probably can't see it, but there's a tiny little blackhead there, or sorry, not a blackhead, like a, the end of a zit. So I just put a tiny freckle there. I have two here that I always fill in. I'm getting text messages from people like attachments and I can't read them because I want to, but they're definitely work things. So I should probably be doing that but I'm not, I'm on live with you guys. Okay, so this is what's going on right now. What I'm noticing um, is that this isn't blended, and so what I do, instead of going back in with um, a brush, I just use this highlighter, and this is, I kind of screwed up because I got excited to show you guys freckles. This is the Charlotte Tilbury um, Beauty Light Wand. I like it because the texture is like that. And I go, very subtle, like nobody wants to look crazy. That, a little right there. Another trick is if I'm looking really tired, um, I'll t put a tiny bit of highlighter underneath my eye and blend that with a concealer. So then I just go like this. Very subtle, nothing crazy. So I'm getting text messages from my BFF and business partner at um, in Amarada and feeling stressed. What if it's something scary? We are factories in LA. Um, so obviously with the order we had to, the stay in place order and all non-essential businesses shutting down, um, you know, things are going to be slower at Amarada. We have so much new stuff coming, it's crazy. I'm so excited to show it to you. And, it's been a little scary to, you know, not be able to to manufacture the stuff that we, we've been developing for so long, but that's okay. So you can see now, put a little highlight. And that also like blended that out, although I'm gonna blend it a little bit more now with a brush. Um, that's pretty much like the day face thing. Um, now the next thing I'm going to do is my lips. Um, so I like to use a lip liner. Um, oh my God, my friend Jason. Okay. This is really funny. Um, J dot a dot K. Um, he is an amazing cartoonist for the New Yorker, but I met him at San Francisco Art Institute when I was 17, so like 10 years ago. Um, yes, I'm old, it's sad. Um, JK, 20, it's not old, guys. Um, uh, and he was another art student. We were both at San Francisco Art Institute, and now he's an incredible New Yorker um, cartoonist, and I find his um, cartoons to be like so on point, so op, so political, but like also very funny and charming. Um, and he's coming out with a book and he just sent it to me and I need to, I need to read it. Okay, this is a very dull pencil, but this is a Pat McGrath um, Done Undone lip liner that I showed in the q and I'm gonna sharpen it really quick so you can really see. Okay, so now I swear to God I could do this without a mirror, but I don't wanna embarrass myself. So I just go th over the line of my lips, like that. Whoever is interviewing me for um, this interview, I hope that they're excited because <laughs> I'm gonna be all glammed up. That's how the guy that I look. Should I do another one of these later? Or I don't play the music too loud and we can actually have a conversation. So now I have a mouth. 
My lips are um, very, very neutral colored, and I like to make them pop. That's how it works, it's how it... Okay, so you can see what that does. And I'm not really going over, I mean, basically right on the line. So, now this is really like depends on day to night. Um, what I'll do sometimes to keep it all looking relatively natural, I'll use this hot, or sorry, this YSL lipstick and I'll just go up the same one that I use on my cheeks. Thank you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, this is really funny. Um, I think I posted a picture of my medicine cabinet on um, my Q&A stories and one of my best friends was like, all I see is Aquaphor because I love Aquaphor. Oh, hi Combo. Hi Bunny. Baby boy's in here. Um, this is how much Aquaphor I own. I'm an addict. Oh, what's the YSL color? Someone's asking. Um, Rouge Pour Couture. And I really love it, it's nice. So what I do is I don't travel with this, but <laughs> I certainly have other ones that I do travel with and like clearly I use a lot of aqua. And then I just go. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then if I wanna like, well, now at this point I think we're pretty good, but I just like to, yeah. Okay, so that is my kind of basic, like, I think I only use 10 products or maybe less, seven products. Um, if I'm getting a little more glam, I'll use this Pat McGrath lip gloss on top. I'm not gonna put this on right now because I think I'll look crazy for the rest of the day because um, it's really gooey and amazing and like stays on all night, which is the best thing about it, but um, not for right now. And then the other thing that I will use is this Pat McGrath um, Labs liner. I'll do a cat, should I do a cat? How do we feel? I'm gonna let you guys decide. Cat or no, or do we like this? The lip liner was Pat McGrath Done Undone, for those who are asking. Um, should I do this? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do a little tiny one. So normally I'll go real, but I'm not gonna do that right now. So, you can see, that's hard to do actually. I'm gonna, have to. using you guys as a mirror is very difficult. So, it's pretty subtle, but it definitely makes a big difference, right? So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, um, hold on to get a little closer. So, what I do is I take the pupil and I go thin and then go thicker out from that. Some people like to go really thick in the middle and I don't, I think it makes the eye look smaller. So, this eye has liner and this eye doesn't, can you see the difference? Yeah, this one looks bigger, right? So I'm glad I did it. Why do, I, why do people open their mouths when they do lip liner? I do it every time and there's completely no reason. Okay, or sorry, not lip liner, with um, eyeliner. There's no reason to do that. So that's what we went with. It's very subtle, like from a distance, it kind of looks just like I have a lash there. Um, someone asked, why are you nervous? I'm not that nervous. I'm just kind of hyper, I love espresso. <laughs> um, okay. So now the other eye, you can see that's kind of nice, right? This Pat McGrath liner is really nice. So the tricky part is getting them to match. One of the things that's annoying about live is I wish I could like watch it. Can you watch it back before you decide to save it? 
because I don't know if I want to save this yet because I can't remember if um or I can't tell if this is like I'm gonna regret this forever and want to do another one or not but okay so I did a subtle liner this is like if I, I'd say if I had meetings or um you know was like going to work or had a little bit of a reason to be a little fancier this is what I would do okay so I'm using this brush that's kind of gross right now sorry guys just to brush my hair Looks good though, right? Like the transformation is real, no? <laughs> okay, so now I'm not using my hands anymore so I can touch my hair. Hold, please. Got a little living proof um, volumizing spray. I also love the Bumble Bumble powder. The shade of the lipstick is um, YSL. Rouge Couture, and then the lip liner was done and done by Pat McGrath. So just kind of like get it that in where it's a little greasy. Rub that in. Um, so everyone who asked about my hair, what I love to use is Kerastase. Um, I'm a Kerastase girl. I um, use their shampoo. Oh, one of the things I love. is this volumizer. It just kind of comes out in like a big, and then you put it in and it feels scary, but then it's amazing. The highlight um, was Charlotte Tilbury, um, this guy. It is Beauty Light Wand. But again, like I don't like to use so much highlighter, so. I mean, that's not true. I like to use a lot of highlighter, but compared to other some beauty tutorials I've seen where people go nuts. I think it's a little, little much. Okay, so that is my look um, for my interview, um, my Zoom interview. Thank you guys for watching. Oh, um, someone can hear the Beatles. I'm sorry that I played the music too loud. Um, I am sorry that you couldn't hear me. Um, I'm gonna do another one of these, I think, because I don't know that this was the best one um, that it could be. So, um, thanks guys for tuning in. Okay.